We are actually going into the leader of now segment. Uh, with me is Mr. Umavi Langevin, also known as Mavi. Yeah, Mavi. Good morning and welcome, sir. Good morning. How are so, you? listen, you recently released a, a, a soaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? <laughs> and I know we have that soaker queued up, mm -hmm. so I want to go to that before yeah, sure. we come back and talk a little more. Yeah, no problem. Okay, apparently we don't have that yet, so we're working on that. Okay. But you know, you recently released your, your soccer, you into poem, you write, um, you, what else do you do? Um, besides the information that um, would have been provided, I to I'm involved in like photography. Um, I'm a published author. Um, I am involved in community development. I am a volunteer English tutor with an organization from San Fernando mm -hmm. called the Isla Foundation as well as I am the resident English tutor at another organization called the Mobile Foundation, which is a transitional um, home for boys. Then also, um, I'm involved in quite a lot. Yep. Yeah. And, and when, I, when I heard the accomplishments that you have had so far, I was, I was impressed. And then when I heard soccer music, I'm like, oh, so he's a real all-round person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, to be honest, when I wrote the song initially, um, it wasn't intended to be a soaker. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I guess being Trinbagonian, you know, the music kind of runs through your blood um, naturally. So I was like, you know, why not? And um, yeah, that's, 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 that's came out of it. But how did you get started with, with the music and also the other career choices that you've made? Okay, well, the music thing, I, I've always love music and been around music um, but for me the love was always with words my, my passion was always with yeah, words. yeah because you're into poetry and writing right as well, so it was so always you know so yeah. i've been doing spoken word and um, poetry and writing for like over 12 years now um i've entered many competitions nationally and stuff like that i've um just been around you know people within the art fraternity um producers singer songwriters stuff like that so I, I think this year was just the year when I decided. I was like, you know what? Let me just try. Like, why not? You know, it's like a, this year is like a why not year. So mm -hmm. that is why I decided to, um, to actually do a, a song for myself. And it's called Rise. Yeah, it's it, it's called Rise. Where yeah. was the inspiration for this song? Um, the inspiration for it. So I'm a person. I really believe. I read this this novel one time. It's actually one of my favorite books. Um, and. The, author is actually one of my favorite authors, a guy by the name of Paulo Coelho. And he has a famous book um, called The Alchemist. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's always about your personal legend and walking into your destiny and these kind of things. Um, so for me, it was always like, I have a team, a live team, uh, that resides around, you know, um, anything to do with affirmation and validation of self and stuff like that. So that's really the inspiration behind the song. Um, and and how, how does it go? How do, <laughs> um, the first The first verse, it, it says, it goes like, um, If I say that I can, just believe that I can, matter of fact, you know I will. Because I see no other plan than this destiny fulfill. So let them say what they want, let them do what they want. I don't need the affirmation. Gonna trust myself today and use the hate as motivation cause Ja the creator create this. I'm a victory song in a your playlist. I'm a lily down in a the valley. And the mud could I never ever hold we. And so <laughs> forth, so yeah, forth, so <coughs> forth. So one, forth. one line that stood out to me mm -hmm. while you were singing is, Use the negative as motivation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that is a that is a strong statement, and and many people should actually listen to that because if you let people's negativity take you over and consume you, then you are not going to improve yourself as an individual. But if you definitely. if you are able to take that negative um, comment that somebody makes about you, mm -hmm. you know, you can use it as that inspiration, as you said, Defin to become definitely. something better. Definitely, and I think I think that is um, really important for us to remember today, especially in our world where we bombarded by so much negativity, especially over social media. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, um, unfortunately, find a lot of worth and validation over social media, and because of that, um, social media is 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 
being used as both a positive and a negative tool. So you find that someone, you know, a lot of stuff like body shaming, if, if you name it, a lot of stuff, you know, and I, I think it's really important. When I wrote this song, actually, um, the intention behind this song mm -hmm. was for it to be a morning song. Like, I wish Trinidad and Tobago could play it every morning. Could play it every yeah. morning, you know. It, it's an inspirational YouTube. song from yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah, food yeah, yeah. lines that I've heard. Yeah, go on YouTube, look for the song Rise, play it every morning, you feel a hundred times better. Guaranteed. That's why I wrote this song. I wrote this song for you to wake up in the morning and play it and just rise, basically. Just rise, you know. And um, there's a, a line in the chorus that goes, rise regardless. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, um, I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Mavi, uh, Mr. Omavi Langevin, mm -hmm. for yeah. coming on this morning. I think it's a positive song, and I want to say congratulations and hope that you continue to inspire people with your poetry, with your photography and of course with your music as well yes yeah, sure. right thank you and we are going to a break and as we go to the break i would like you to sing us out okay. Okay.